To begin, we would like to calculate or determine the empirical formula for this compound. We know that it's 82.76% carbon, 17.24% hydrogen. If we assume a 100 gram sample, that will make the following math very easy. In a 100 gram sample, we'll have 82.76 grams of carbon, and we'll have 17 0.24 grams of hydrogen. Now we just want to do some dimensional analysis. We know that one mole of carbon has a mass of 12.01 grams, and we know one mole of hydrogen has a mass of 1.01 .01 grams. That's a 1. This will allow us to calculate the number of moles for each element present in this compound. 82.76 divided by 12.01 works out to be 6.89. Remember, this is moles of carbon, moles, and 17.89. 24 divided by 1.01 .01 works out to be 17.07 moles of hydrogen. So we're getting very close to determining our empirical formula. Let's change colors here and consider these values, 6.89, 17.07. We want to find the ratio of these numbers. The easiest way to do that is to divide each of the numbers by the smaller of the two. 6.89 divided by itself will give a value of 1. And then we'll take the 17.07, divide that by 6.89. This works out to be 2.47. I'm going to round that off to 2.5. We need to remember that empirical formula means the lowest whole number ratio of elements present in a compound. 1 to 2.5 doesn't really meet that criteria, so I'm going to take both of these values and multiply them by 2. So that'll be 2 here, multiplied by 2 here, multiplication symbol, that will be equal to 5. So the empirical formula of this compound is C2. H5. And that's how we determined the empirical formula for this hydrocarbon, which is 82.76% carbon, 17.24% hydrogen. And those percentages are, of course, percentages by mass.